the Windbridge portable PA system model H5. So let's get this all working. I got this on my head. It obviously has a remote wireless microphone, which I turned on with the controller. Now let's turn on the base unit. You ready? Such a, card playing. such a FM nice mode. startup sound. We're going to go to switch modes. UHF mode. Okay, so we should be, let me turn the volume up. Okay, so what I have here is I have a wireless PA system. Now I'm going to get feedback because I'm really close. But you can imagine that you can have this set up on a picnic table, for example, or in the front of a room, and you can walk around maybe an outdoor yoga class you're doing or a lecture you're giving or maybe you're at a trade show and you can have a pretty solid distance between these two units i'm going to turn this off actually so <laughs> a little disconcerting when you're this close but it gives you a huge range of possibilities and look ma no wires this is a wireless battery powered system so this is the winbridge portable pa system model h5 and everything's wireless, everything's battery powered. So this is, comes with the headset microphone that has its own volume control. You can turn the volume up and down. And of course there's a slider and it charges via micro USB on this side. And you can even pop this metal thing off if you wanna use this in a different configuration. But of course like this, it's certainly convenient. And I think you could probably just have it around your neck and do it this way too. So if you don't want it over your head, you can do that, super comfortable. It also receives Bluetooth 4.2, so you can use this as a speaker for a Bluetooth device like your smartphone. It also has on the top, in fact, let's just do a quick tour of all the ports and plugs on the top. And the front row, you can see that you have microphone volume, so you have volume on the headset and you have volume on the receiving or amplifier. Then it has the M is for mode. It lets you switch between all the different input modes. And you can see you have previous track, pause, play, next track. The, that's the record button. Yes, it records. How sweet is that? Then there's a TF or micro SD card slot. And then on the back you have the um, AUX. Let's see, you, know, you have the headphones out. I guess you can use that if you wanna do it that way. The DC for charging, you have a microphone plug if you have a wired microphone and you don't want to use the wireless one, AUX in, and USB. So how does that all work? So you have a lot of different input possibilities that you can use on this amp. So for example, I can turn it to FM radio. Let's do that just for a second. And again, that lovely startup tone. TF card playing. And so FM I'm going to... mode. UHF mode. Okay, let's switch. Bluetooth is waiting for a connection. TF card playing. FM mode. Okay. So, it actually scans FM channels and then presets. Authentically American is a veteran so, owned patriotic here we go. That's an FM USA channel. Can't complain about that, right? And the TF card so I can record to it, though you can only record off of the microphone. So either this or the wired mic. You can't record FM, for example. So know that. But what a great idea. If you're going to do this for a demo or a talk, you push and hold the record button, and it'll then record what you're saying, even as it's amplifying it and letting everyone else hear it. That's great. If you're doing like an, a yoga in the park, for example, then something like this could be a real win because then later you can go back and listen to what you did and say, oh, I did this. I should have done this pose instead. And you can fix things, right? You can improve on things. Um, and then you can play it back on this too. So you could use this without the microphone and you can just actually have this set up at your trade show booth and push the button and it'll start playing the audio even if your presenter had to go and take a break or actually maybe go and have a meeting with someone. Really nice. So it has a 30 watt output and it's fairly heavy. We'll come back to the weight in a second, but the headset battery is 380 milliamp hours. So it gives you three hours as a microphone, which is kind of interesting. This is sort of like um, hot dogs and hot dog buns. This goes for three hours, but this on a charge goes for five hours. <laughs> this is a 3600 milliamp hour battery. So this is much bigger. And the whole thing together is really slick. I'm very impressed with this. This is way cooler than I thought it would be. I thought it would be. 
<laughs> and let me give you the dimensions. So it is 10 inches by nine inches by four inches deep and it's 3.2 pounds. So this is like a lunch box that actually has lunch in it. So it's not super light, but that's because they have a lot of circuitry in here, right? Now, the downside is that this is really optimized for speech. So if you want to use this for music, you're going to be really sad that there ain't much more than the high end. So there's, you know, a little bit of mid range, but there is no bass at all. This is not going to be an amp for your guitar. For example, it's just not going to sound that good. It's really good for what it's designed for, which is speech. But if you want to use something like this as a music source, there are better speakers out there for that task. This is not a music speaker. This is not really a Bluetooth speaker. It's a portable PA system, which is what they say it is. So that's entirely fair and reasonable.